everybody. Today we're going to have a side-by-side -side of my Dehus Carafa 2 porters. Uh, the one on my left is using Crystal 40 and the one on my right is using Crystal 60. I'll link a card up here if you want to go check out the standalone reviews. But the Crystal 40 version um, was 4.92% ABV. And the Crystal 60 was 4.71% ABV. So a little difference uh, in there. But the goal of this is try out these darker adjunct malts to see uh, what they do in a beer. And then once we start layering them, we can also see what they do. Uh, so for the head, I would say they're the same. They're both in a 22-ounce bottle with seven carbonation tablets. Um, if it's anything like the chocolate base porters that I made, we'll have to check them or I'll have to keep an eye on them after month two because that there was, I think it was the 40L chocolate version, uh, was actually overcarbed after two months or at two months, I should say. So, uh, head wise, they're the same. They need some more carbonation, uh, maybe a little bit longer in the fridge. So if we take a look at the color, they are close. Try and pick this one up the same way. Um, I would say that the, the 60L version is a touch darker. They're both brown. I would say from looking at these... Uh, without smelling them, without drinking them, I would say they're brown eels. Uh, most of the time, my porters, I like a little bit darker. Um, but again, this is just testing. These are not going to be world-class beers, I wouldn't think. Um, but uh, just to test the different adjunct malts. So for the color, I would have to give it to the 60 if we're talking about a porter. But if you're looking for a brown, go with whatever one you want. They're close. So let's go ahead and smell. So Crystal 40 versus Crystal 60, I would think a little bit more toffee, maybe a little bit more caramel, a little bit more sweetness in the 60 version versus the 40 version since uh, they're both using the same amount of grain, just 40 versus 60. Uh, so let's go with the 40. More malty. Yeah. So I, I think the base malt is coming out of the 40 version when I'm smelling them side by side. I Sure, that's not what I said in the standard review, but doing this side by side, I really get that toffee caramel out of the 60 version. There is a, a touch of roasted malt in each one, but I definitely in that 60 version, I'm getting more of that caramel toffee uh, along the lines of a brown. And I was, and the reason I I put more of that crystal malt in there is I was scared it was going to be pitch black and come through with like over roasted stout, um, and we're going for a porter. That's why I cut it back. I think for the smell, I would have to go with the sixty. I think the smells a little better. Uh, even though both of them really don't smell like a porter, you know, I'm talking a, a light roasted malt, maybe city roast coffee, uh, light chocolate. I'm really not getting that. The dominant flavors or smells, aromas are either malt biscuit or toffee caramel. So 60 wins if I had to drink just one. Let's go ahead and taste. In that 60 version, you can tell there's like a slight, almost 
burnt caramel toffee like that that crawfa too is bringing that roast in there and it, it it's almost it, it's not burnt caramel toffee but it's very close almost i almost want to say now like like there's some bitterness in there but i think it's just that that crawfa too playing off that crystal 60 like, I wonder if it would be a lot more if I put, like, 120 in there. Like, if I just evened them both out, like, 120, Crystal 120, and that Crawfa 2, if that would equal each other out. Um, the 40 version tastes like water when you drink it next to the 60. Like there's a slight, it's like a very watered down caramel. There's, there's a touch of roast, but it's, it's very diluted, which makes sense. Hmm. If, if I was doing this blind, I would say these are both browns. Just this one has a little bit more roasted malt in it. Because I, I think both of them need a little bit more bitterness. So I guess that is showing that that de-husk is working. Um, I don't know which one it was, but I was getting bitterness out of it. And I could see that maybe month two or month three or month four will keep the bitterness in these dehusk malts down more than it would in, um, you know, the chocolate malt version or the chocolate weed or something like that. So I'll definitely have to remember to look at that. But at least for these, I would go with the 60L version. It has a little bit more flavor. Um, it's definitely not a porter in my opinion. It's more, it, it's a brown caramel toffee that's usually what you get in a brown i like my browns a little bit nutty so this wouldn't even you know i i wouldn't drink more than one uh but at least for this uh i i think that crystal 60 uh plays a little better with that d hus carafa too than the 40l version does if you've used the d hus carafa series i also have carafa one um, but I'm not going to do a standard uh, beer on that. I actually picked that up after I made these. Um, so, and I was going to wait until I tasted them before I used it. But yeah, there's no reason to use it. So yeah, leave a comment down below if you've used any of the D Husk Carafa series. And let me know what you thought about it. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. Check some more out over here. And until next time, happy brewing.